Okay, thank you very much. My name is Melissa. I'm going to uh, present you the uh, design parts of this steel shared structure. In the previous tutorial, we have seen the modeling part. Uh, now today we will continue the the rest parts of uh, the modeling parts, and then uh, we'll continue the uh, loading part, the analysis part, as well as the design parts of the steel uh, members. Now let me open the uh, steel shed model that uh, I have modeled in the previous uh, tutorial one. Now the robots structural analysis professional is opening. Okay, this is you know the model that I have modeled in the previ previous tutorial. Here, uh, now let me uh, continue the rest parts of the modeling as you see here uh, uh, I have already applied the fixer support in this part and the fixer support in this part and there is no support here in this part so uh, I have to apply all the supports here and here on the gable side so the type of support that I have to apply on the gable side uh, might be the uh, fixer support because there is not that much load or reactions at the base of uh, the uh, end column. So now here, I'll select the support. And now apply the fixer support here. Okay, yes. I fix our supports are applied to the base of the indie column. Now to see the support here, you can click here. Then now here, the support is not applied here on the base of this column, and then have to apply the fixer support here to start apply and now okay here just uh, you know after the analysis of the structure there will be much movement uh, in the y directions at the base of the the main column because you know the main column is carrying the main rafters which carry a much load coming from the roof the wind as well as from the cell foil of the rafter so to, to avoid the excessive movements at the base of the column so we need to use the uh, the uh, pin support we just Go to here and then select the support here. Select the support here. No, the support is here. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now here. So click here and apply the pin support. Okay, because I didn't select the, I didn't select the support here. So select the support at the base of the main column and then change the fixer support to the pin support in order to avoid excessive movement. Because if we use the fixer support then we'll have uh, an excessive amount of movement so in that case uh, we will uh, uh, have the 
a bigger size of footing and uh, uh, more reinforcement will be required and also uh, when we uh, design also the base plates so uh, many number of bolts uh, will be required so in order to reduce the uh, uh, much number of bolts as well as bigger size of footing so we need to use a pin support okay so here you know supporters will be you know supporters are changed to the pin support okay connect this one and I need to convert this into pin support. So I'll like this one and then apply pin support. It is changed. Okay, very nice. Now, here, in order to use the support here. Okay, good. Okay, now, uh, so here uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have already applied an offset to the columns as well as to the router and the paddlings. Uh, now here, if we see the configuration of the, uh, you know, the column at the, in, at the gable side, here at the gable side, so the, uh, the wave uh, has to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, placed along the direction of the uh, indrafters. So, uh, whether it is uh, uh, properly oriented or not, or just we can see it here. Just first, we have to make uh, the shapes of the the members here. You know this uh, this orientation uh, uh, you know the yeah, here uh, the, the the main function of the flange the upper and the lower flange is, is just to carry the movement which is coming from the uh, you know thereafter so in this case here the wave is subjected to uh, just the uh, movement but here the wave has to carry shear shear not movement so we need to rotate this member into 90 degree in order to make the upper and the lower flange carry movement coming from the edge rafters of the roof. So here, just to do this, uh, first we need to select the collar. Select the collar. Select the collar. Select the collar. And then, for the simplicity of an application of uh, rotation as well as an offset so we need to open this into a new window here just like this so here make top view so we need to rotate this into 90 degree so before just rotating this into 90 degree we need to uh, remove the offset that we have uh, applied before because here this member if you select this member and if you see also the offset here just the offset is you know offset offset of in the colon which is around uh, you know five it is around five millimeter you know it is around five millimeter offset is applied so it uh, so we need to remove the offset we need to remove the offset So select all the member here and just go to the geometry and you go to the additional attributes then offset then we need to delete this one apply so here offset is deleted so we can rotate this member just come to here you know the camera angle so this has to P minus 90 degree because previously it has been rotated 90 degrees so in, we need to return it back to this original position so minus 90 degree
sorry. We can uh, sorry. Okay, now it's just make to 90 degree and just go to the geometry with the gamma angle. So now rotate into 90 degree. And it's not rotated. So make this. Okay. So like this one. Go to the geometry. Gamma angle. So make it this plus ninety degree. So get it rotated perfectly. But but Okay, here, if you see also the z-axis, you know, the positive z-axis is oriented along uh, the axis of the wave. It's good. Okay, exit. So now, observe the orientation of, uh, you know, the parallel. Whether the parallel is located at the, uh, in the parts of uh, you know the edges of the 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 the, the, the flange or not just we can select the one of the column and then and one of the column and thereafter so just we can open into the new window so top view you know top view so here you can you you can see Look, if this is the color, and this is the, uh, you know, the edges of the flange, and this is, you know, the purling. So the purling is located over the uh, faces of the edges of the flange. So this shows that the orientation of the flange uh, uh, of the column and the purlings is perfect. So close this one. So now here we can see you know whether the purling is located over the surface of the the column here it is perfect. You know, the wall purling is located over the faces of the column, and this is also perfect. This, uh, this is, you know, the real arrangements of the purling. Okay, very good. Now, when we count also the roof, you know, the purling is located over the rafter, over the upper surface of the phalange. It's good. So this is a good arrangement of the rafter, the column, the pollings, and uh, you know the the brace. So now next I will apply the cladding part because you know the wind load will be applied to the cladding and the cladding will distribute the load to the rafter and the rafter will distribute the load to the column and the column will transfer the load to the foundation so 
to simplify the transmission or just the distribution of the load we need to use colliding just to do this you go to the geometry and here colliding and then I need to apply you know the rectangular colliding on the if side and the also the uh, uh, contour uh, uh, colliding to the gable side so first I will apply the contour colliding so for simplicity I will uh, make off the steel shaft just like this so first now let me start here you have to be take care while clicking the in the parts of you know the member Okay, now make of switch of the sorry switch of the offset. And then apply the colliding part. Colliding. So make contour. You know the colliding is drawn, but here, you know, yeah, uh, this uh, colliding will distribute the load in two directions because, uh, you know, the load distribution is two way. So I have to make it. It is one way. So to do this, I have to select this one, then go to the load distribution option here. This is either in x direction or in y direction so uh, I have to observe the local axis of this colliding first in order to uh, select the direction uh, to which the load will be distributed so to do this just go to the display option and then the load distribution Load distribution region. Load, okay. The load. Uh, okay, now. I'm sorry. Wait, the local axis. Okay, no. Simply just like this one. Okay, of this one, select this one and open into new window. Then make on the local axis. Okay, perfect. Here I have to make this is. Uh, you know the exit direction is in the upper uh, way and the y direction is in this direction so the load will be distributed to the column so uh, in order to distribute the load to the column I have to select uh, the y direction so you know this is one way y direction perfect so now copy this one to the other side of the cable part. 
Kaikki. Iso. Test. Okay, you can also observe the direction of the local axis, whether it is correctly assigned or not. Okay, this is the Z direction. Okay, this is the Y direction. Perfect. Now the load will be distributed on uh, Y direction. That is one way Y, meaning to the column. Okay, cloud is well. Now then, I will apply the cladding to the E parts of the wall. Go to the geometry cladding, and then you know the contour. You can, you can select the contour. You know the contour. It, it is the general one. It can be used for rectangular. It can be used for rectangular. Now close this one. Okay. Now the wall is applied to I mean the cladding is applied to the wall. So here it's open to the new window and observe the local axis orientation. And this one you know it, it is the way direction is in this direction. Okay, so you can select, you know, one way Y. Okay, perfect. And now copy. Just what we did, and then the copy, and then to this base line. Okay, then paste to this base line. Perfect. Okay. Now next time I will draw cladding on the roof. So you go to the geometry and select the cladding. Look at this one. This one. This one. You have to be take care while just clicking the end point. This one. And finally just to close the cladding this one. Now cladding is draw. Okay, good. So now just observe the orientation of the local axis. Two. You know, the Z direction is in this direction. It's the green one here. This green one is in Y direction. So because, you know, the load has to be transferred from the colliding to the rafter. So it is one way Y. Good. Now let me draw also the colliding on the other sides of the roof. Just geometry colliding.
Okay, now click this one. And then click this one. Now click this one. Click this one. Now just to close the colliding here, just click the end point. Okay, now of the orientation of the local axis. Okay, here in this direction. So the load will be distributed to the y direction of the panel so that the load will be transferred directly to the rafter. So make load distribution one way y. Okay, good. Here now the the wall and the roof cladding is properly drawn. So the next step will be uh, the application of the load to the roof as well as the application of the load to the dead load as well as the wind load to the structure. So here to do this first we need to define the load. So to define the load just to go to the load menu. So load type. So here, dead load two is you know dead load one is by default it is the self weight of the structure, and dead load two will be also the roof cover. So to make this roof cover, make it a roof cover, and the roof cover, you know the it is non-structural roof cover is it is non-structural job. make it cover so you know the nature of the load is it is dead, dead load then add so next we'll apply the live load select this live load here select the category of the structure you know uh, the there are so many lists of the category of the structure but here we are uh, you know designing a steel shared structure so steel shared structure is categorized under the category e so we need to a category e i think uh, this is the category okay now here uh you know the uh uh the, now let me define also the live load. Live load. Then here, it is live load. The category of the structure is it is under category E, you know, because it is warehouse. So uh, it is uh, now add. It is added. So we have three main loads. Loads. Then close. Then next, I will define. I I will, uh, you know, the, the uh, apply the load. So here, first, now let me select the. Self weight of the structure. So click here, self weight and mass. Then here, uh, you know, self weight in the negative PZ for the whole structure. So click this one. So, you know, all the structure is selected. So here,
Okay. Now load start up what? So roof cover. So you know the roof load will be applied to the roof cladding. Select all. No, no. Select all. First, no, let me select. The gravity load. Okay. So I'm going to the load. Load distribution. Service load. You know, it's first. Okay, so go to load, load definition, on surface. Now select this one. Okay, there is some error here. Load definition. Because it is inactive, okay. Okay, now let me apply the roof cover load. Now, to apply the roof cover load, first I have to select the roof cover. Then go to the load main, the, uh, go to the load main, load definition. So surface load. So here, uniform, the planar load. Then here, you know, I have to apply minus 0 0.14 kilonewton per meter square load over the roof. Here, the negative sign indicated that the load will be applied downward. Then add. You know, apply because I've already passed the selected cladding to here. Apply. You know, the load is distributed over the roof. And then, I have to apply also the live load. Go to the load main, load definition. Here, go to the surface load because live load is, it is a surface load. Then here, click the uniform planar load. Then is minus zero point, uh, you know, minus zero point five uh, because you know it is for maintenance purpose. You now the load uh, uh, will be, you know, applied. The live load will be applied to the roof cover with uh, an amount of minus zero point five. Then click. Uh, here, you know, the member, the colliding members uh, are previously better to here and then apply. Okay, here, the live load is applied to the colliding. Then here, the dead load one, the sulfoid, the dead load to the roof cover and the live load uh, are applied to the structure. Now, let me check once, you know, the dead load one because previously I'm not sure that whether the the sulfoid is applied to the structure or not. So you know. 
go to the load menu of definition it, this is the cell void okay so now cell void we we'll collect this one and then apply and close here it is applied so to view the load you know you can uh, you can click this one it, the load one it, this is the dead load one and then hit dead load to cover and this is also the live load okay so now uh, all those loads will be uh, you know distributed to the columns and to the rafter so you know go to the geometry and then the additional attribute so load distribution gliding sorry just go to the geometry and go to the analysis in order to view the uh, distribution of the load so click the generation of the computational model now robot structural analysis professional is distributed distributing the apply load to the rafter into the column okay so now to view the distribution region go to the display setting and here load load distribution region now click apply okay here there is a mirror you know here the load distribution is not uh, you know properly distributed uh, to the rafter so this is because uh, uh, okay now, now let me make off the distribution region okay make it apply okay here now let me select now let me select the uh, cable because you know the cable uh, should not carry the load coming from the roof so uh, okay, sorry 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 now let me now let me off okay okay okay, okay sorry select the cable a similar cross section so go to here you know go to the geometry the, ad, the additional attributed now the load distribution option so here uh, click past so the load will not be uh, you know transferred to the the brace so just make it ignore so Autodesk Robot Structural Professional will not transfer the roof cover load to the brace. So now let me check the distribution region. Okay. Okay, this is good. There is some. Uh... Okay, uh, now let me observe the load distribution uh, on this structure. So here, just to do this, go to the display option and try to make on the 
uh, load distribution region here like this and here the distribution of uh, the load just okay here now uh, I have already applied the gliding and I have also defined the load type and load, the load definition uh, so now let me observe the distributions of the load on the roof as well as on the wall so just to do this now let me uh, uh, go to, to the, the display option and then just the load then the load distribution region so now now apply here as you see you know the distribution of the load is not correct because here you know the cable is acting as a load carrying member but in your case in real case this press uh, should not carry a load coming from the roof as well as coming from the you know from the wind so we need to make this press uh, ignore uh, in carrying uh, the load coming from the roof. So just to do this, we need to select the member here. I'll select the similar member here, just like this. And you go to the uh, geometry and that additional attribute here. Now the uh, sorry. Uh, now just go to the. Uh, geometry and additional attribute here the load distributions option now let me here uh, you know copy all the selected presses and then paste here so you know the load coming from the roof and the wall should not be transferred to the press so in this case I should not analyze I, I should not click analyze but it just make it ignore so autodesk scrollboard structural analysis will not transfer the load to the brace instead you know the brace is it is a tension member so so to make it a tension member uh, so we have to uh, you know uh, we have already selected the uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, the brace now braces are selected here so uh, just to go to the uh, geometry and additional attributes so now click the advanced by property so you know just uh, you know braces should uh, act as a tension member it should not act as a compression member so just make at its attention member so to those global structure I will consider just braces as a tension member so now apply so here after this uh, you know uh, if you apply the load i mean if you observe the load distribution uh, so it will uh, be a properly distributor so just to, to see this just to go to the uh, uh, first now let me you know analyze the load distribution here it is good you know it is good but here there is some error here and there is some error here so so lock the member here and then Is correct. So go to the geometry, additional attributes. So now copy this and copy this and paste and ignore. Okay. And then the geometry attributes. So now advance it by property. So now let's remember. Okay. Now apply. Good.
So here, oh, let me let the load distribution here. There is some here, here. Now next time, I will uh, apply also the the wind load to the structure. So uh, here, first now let me make of the load distribution region for easy visualization of the simulation. In Autodesk Robot Structure App Professional, is, it is a peculiar software that simulates the wind load that are going to apply to the wall and to the roof. In uh, ETAPS and SAP software, you know, we have to calculate manually the wind load and it then transfer to the the member. But in this case, you know, the software will simulate the the wind load in all the directions. I, in exit direction, in y direction, negative y direction, negative exit direction at any angle of uh, the building. So so to uh, simulate the the wind load. So we will not do a manual calculation automatically. The software will apply the load to the uh, the main rafter, the edge rafter in the column directly. So just to do this, go to the load menu, and then here wind load simulation. Now generate the wind load. Click here the generate wind loads. So now here. The wind simulation dialog box is coming. Now, here, uh, as our uh, warehouse is, uh, it is a symmetrical warehouse, so it is uh, enough just to apply in X and in Y direction, only in two direction. But if our the structure is irregular, so we need to apply in many direction because the wind pressure intensity is different from one side to another side so in this case I will apply you know the wind uh, load in four direction in X direction you know the default is in X positive direction it is selected in Y negative direction in X negative direction and in Y positive direction so no need of applying at 45 degree because you know the structure is it is symmetrical so to save time of simulation for directions are enough so here uh, in uh, here as I am in Ethiopia you know the Ethiopian national annex uh, recommends to use a wind speed of only two meter per second uh, and you know the wind pressure I can select uh, uh, the, the wind uh, pressure 0 0.25 megapascal instead of wind velocity but here uh, this depends on your selection so the terrain level is at zero because it starts at zero and then uh, the wind exposure uh, surface has to be selected here to do this select all the, you know the surfaces uh, on which the wind will be applied here so select this surface, you know, copy and apply, you know, be take care where, while you are pasting the clouding here. Now, uh, here this is uh, all about, and now when the windy profile, uh, you know, dialog with the windy profile uh, option is coming here, you know the wind will be simulated from starting from the zero level to uh, the height it is up to you know it's 90 meter but in our case in our building height is it is to this one so the wind will be simulated from this up to 10.5 meter okay now uh, here now uh, the general loads when the load deviation factor deviate is less than 0.5%. Okay, now let me take the default as it is. Now, robot structural professional is now simulating the wind load uh, in 
for direction. As you see here, it is in x positive direction. Now, robot structural analysis professional is simulating the wind pressure coming from uh, in x positive direction. Now it is simulating. You know, after completing the simulation of the wind in x positive direction, then it will come back to the uh, positive. Uh, y direction and then uh, positive negative x direction and positive uh, you know the, 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 the negative y direction so on all four direction the wind load will be simulated if the pressure map intensity is shown here you know when now it is coming to the positive y direction in this direction you know this is the windward direction and the back surface is it is the leeward side you know the intensity of the pressure on the windward direction is maximum as we see it is in red color which is ancient the intensity is it is higher with respect to you know the other color so now uh, here the robot structural professional will transfer all the wind pressure to the uh, to the rafter and to the column depending on the definition of the load distribution region. Okay, now, as you see, the simulation of the wind along the negative way direction is, you know, on process. As we see here, you know, the wind which is coming on the negative y direction is applying on the wind what uh, faces of, of the roof, which is on the gable side. And here the leeward side is uh, subjected to the lower uh, intensity of the wind pressure. Here, as we see, the color is becoming, you know, it is not red, somewhat it is it is you know blue so the intensity of the wind here is laser the intensity of the wind on the wind what direction when the wind is you know blowing along the negative way direction uh, so the wind is the wind intensity will be distributed over the wall and the roof you know if we apply the wind in this direction so the section uh, you know pressure will be applied to the roof that is the, the negative pressure you know the value will be upward and but in this case it is the you know the compression the, you know the uh, you know the compression load will be applied to the windward direction that is the positive pressure and here in, the, in this case also it is the suction zone which is the uh, you know the negative pressure here because the load which is applying away from the faces of the cladding can be taken as a negative pressure that is negative value so you know the wind is you know applying in this direction so this one is it is a windward this one is uh, i mean this one is a leeward this one is a leeward this one is a leeward and this one is also a leeward and this one is a leeward well uh, that means you know the wind will be the wind load or the wind pressure will be uh, you know applying away from the faces of the structure So here, you know, the pressure map is in kilopascal. Now you know, you know, the pressure here is it is around in least minus 0 0.15, which is the negative, as I said before. You know, the zone, yeah, you know, here all those patterns are, you know, negative.
Enum. The simulation of the wind radar is completed here. It's completed here. You know, this is as you see here. Uh, this shows that the, the 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 intensity of the pressure over the surfaces of the colliding. The faces of the. Now let me rotate it in order to make sure you clear here. This is you know the last simulation of the wind load along the negative z direction. If you see this is the wind what you know in the wind what direction the pressure will be m too much. That means it is a, you know it is a compression which is a positive pressure. It's a positive pressure. All the rest will be the negative pressure because uh, the rest phases of the roof will be acting as the leeward phase. So now close this one. So here, uh, you know, now let me observe the distribution region of the load ones. Go to the load, load distribution region, actually. You know, here there is some, um, you know, irregularity, irregular distribution of the load here. Okay, now let me analyze get the generation of the computational model once. Okay, that is perfect. You know, you know, as you see before, uh, there was uh, some irregular distribution of the load at uh, you know the the zone where the wall bracing are located. But now it is properly distributed here. You know, this is the distribution region of the load on the wall as well as on the roof. So now, here, you know, I have finished all the the work, you know, associated with the definition of the work loading, the loading, the simulation of the wind load, all the application of the load. Now, uh, for the I will uh, also analyze. I you know I will I I will uh, you know uh, go to the definition of load combination because I am going to analyze before analyzing the structure. I have to I have to define the load combination. So to just to do this, go to the load menu. And then here, let's go to the uh, manual, the automatic combination. And then here, there are, you know, lists of combination here. And then the manual combination. Next. And then I will not use all just because I will be using the ultimate limit state and the serviceability limit state. The serviceability limit state for the deflection and the deformation and the ultimate limit state is for the design of the member. Now next. Select all the combination, you know, of the desk robot structural analysis. We'll have lists of default combination according to the euro code here. You know, 1 times 1.35 means, you know, we have already defined all the all the types of the load here. One is, it is the sulfoid of the structure, that is the dead load, plus 2 times 1.35 is, it is also the roof cover, and plus 3 times 1.5. You know, you know, 3 indicated that uh, the, uh, the types of the load, which is the... Uh, the live load and two is uh, the, the roof cover and one is the cell board. So just and also here when we come back when we go down also the wind load will be incorporated here. That is number four. Both in X and Y uh, 
uh, in x positive, in x negative, in y negative, in y positive, in all four directions. Here, those are the combinations of the load. Now, collect generate. How to describe what structure generates the list of combination. So, to, to see the list of combination, just go to here. There are lists, you know, starting from, you know, 8 up to, uh, uh, you know, up to 63, the ultimate limit is that combination, and starting from 64 up to 89, it is serviceability limit state combination. And this is simple case indicates that all the simple case, that is all the serviceability limit state, and the combinations indicate that the ultimate limit is that combinations. Okay, good. After this, you know, I will go to the analysis. So go to the analysis. So click the calculation now. To describe what structural professional is analyzing the all the applied loads. Now here it is now taking some time because Autodesk Robots Structural Analysis is a very nice software and it is a user-friendly software and it saves the time that we will be, you know, wasting in handy calculation. Some loads need, is, need a handy calculation but in the case of robots uh, structural analysis it is all you know the uh, load will be analyzed by the software the only thing that we have to put is the live load the dead load then the cell forward or the load so now it is uh, you know, it is taking some time. Here now it is a non-linear analysis is undergoing. You know, still now uh, his number of error is zero and the number of warning is zero. Now it is the software is analyzing the structure without any error and warning till now. Yeah, this is a sparse direct solver method now. Here there is, you know, it is that the number of iteration is it is 40. Iteration number is 40. Now, robot structure and analysis is using, you know, the around 40 iteration. And here is, it is also, it is a co convergence of limit is here. The increment number is, it is uh, here, the process parameter is here. you know it is the this is the statics the number of nodes that robot structure and analysis professional is analyzing around 341 nodes and the number of elements are 684 and the number of equation is 100 1926 equations are being analyzed by the robot structural analysis professional software that is why it is taking more time. And here the calculation priority, it is normal. Here it is the resources that the memory is using, the disk. You know, good. You know, the robot structure professional analysis software. Uh, 
complete the analysis part without any error and warning. This shows that our model is perfect. So here, so the next one is uh, just how can we see the results, the analysis results. So in order to see the analysis results, we can uh, use, uh, you know, the uh, the new window for just simplicity of visualization. First, now let me select this router, this router, and then just open to new window. And here, this is the router. Okay, now, now let me select this, 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 and this column. So now let me open into a new window for uh, simplicity of visualization. So in order to view the uh, amount of shear force, the movement, uh, the, the axial force in directions, so we can go to the result menu. So diagram for parts, click this one. So now the diagram dialog box is coming here. Now, uh, so here, the fx, fy, fz. So in order to see the moment also here, there are moment in x, moment in y, and moment in z direction. So now let me observe, let me see the moment in y direction. That is the major moment. Now apply. Here, this is the moment diagram in major direction. So, just to view the value of the moment, just like this, here. You can see simply the amount of the moment in Y direction. And also, similarly, you can also see the M in Z direction. It is a very small moment because it is a minor axis. Now, MX. Collect. This is a torsion moment. And now here there is also an axial force, Fx. Apply. You can see it is the axial force, which is the normal force along the length of the member. Fz. Apply. Here. Fz. Apply. The previous one is Fy. This one. Okay. And when we come to also the deformation, first now let me. Okay, when we come to the deformation also, here also describe also structure of professional displays the maximum deflection here, which is around 15.7 millimeter. So, what would be the maximum allowable deflection that you could recommend this? Here, you could recommend this, you know, the maximum deflections, which is around L over 200. We will see later. So, you know, the maximum deflection is L over, which is around 200. So, in this case, you know, the length of the, length of the member is, it is around 80.7, like this. It is around 18.17. Now, the distance from here up to here. So, when we divide by 2, so we'll get eighteen point one seven is around like that. Divided by it is 200. No, it is multiplied by 1000. It is around, oh, okay. Sorry, 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 it's not correct. Uh, you know, the maximum span can be taken from here up to here because this member acts as one member. So it is around it is 36. So, you know, the tools and menu. Then the dimension line and aligned. Collect this one. 
like this one. The dimension is it is 36. So you know 36 divided by 200 you know, times 1000. It is 180 millimeter, which is 18 centimeter. But in this case, it is 15.7 millimeter. Now the deflection is okay. Perfect. Even if we take from this up to this, you know, the requirement is satisfied. Now let me check it. That is 18.17 divided by, it is 200, is equal to multiplied by 1000 is equal to it is 90.85 millimeter so this 15.7 is too much less than 90.85 millimeter this shows that the deflection is under the uh, allowable recommended limit okay uh, so this is all about the deformation now when we count also the stress we can we can see the maximum stress if the, stress, the maximum stress that the member uh, is uh, subjected now apply to the you know the stress here the reaction because you know the reaction is at the base of the column so now here the reaction you know fz apply here Okay, now sorry. Now FZ, FX, F O, and FZ apply. You know because. Mm. Okay, what's wrong here? No, apply here. Reaction force. Okay, here you know uh, because you know joints are no selected members, only the members are selected. Now let me show you. Uh, here, uh, this this node should be selected. Only members are selected. This one. So we need to select, you know, here the support. So now, if you wanted to, you know, result, you know, the reactions, you can see here, you know, FZ. Now apply here, the reaction load is applied. Now here, reactions, you know, go to the parameter, now click text apply here this is the amount of directions that this support generates okay you know this is for uh, you know the selected load combinations here now let me select this one is this 40 but you know in order to view the maximum reaction that this support generators is you know, just go to okay now here just simply select uh, the load combination from starting from 8 starting from 8 to 8 to 63 8 to 63 just like this when you uh, you, you know i have uh, i wanted to view the reaction coming due to the ultimate combinations so robot structure analysis professional will list the minimum and the maximum reaction value here so now Okay, good.
so now here just to go to the results diagrams you know reactions oh no up like here parameter apply Okay, now click this. All those one. Apply. Okay. Now here, the robot structure of analysis lists down the the minimum and the maximum value of uh, you know the internal forces generated at this support due to the the, the uh, combinations. So here this support, you know, the maximum FZ is it is 40.98. You know, when we come to here also it is, you know, the minimum as. Then when we come to also, uh, you know, this one is the lower amount. Because, you know, here we have already used the pin support. That is why, you know, the values are lower. If we use the fixers, you, you, you know, here this is a fixer support I mean, uh, you know this is a fixer support uh, and this is a pin support but in the case of pin support uh, if you see here the FZ is it is 159 in this case 115 in this case even in uh, in pin support you know the, the, there is high amount of uh, you know the the force you know high amount of force so this is uh, you know the Okay, nice. Here. Now, just in order to hide this result, just go to the, you know, the result menu. And here, okay, this one, you know, formation is clear, stretch is clear, reaction is, you know, this is not apply. Okay. So, uh, this is, and also now let me show you also the other method how to visualize the results. Now select this member and right click here and click object property. Now, if you go to core checking, you know, all the internal forces of this member will be displayed here. It is in stability because, you know, we didn't design the member, that is why it shows the instability one. After, you know, designing this message will not be, uh, will not be appear. Here, uh, the, the core checking show that, uh, you know, this is the old uh, results and, you know, the, the, you know, the displacement here. You know, the graph will, will be coming here, but the displacement of this member, that means the deflection of this member. Now, here, this is the starting point, and this is the ending point. For this member, you know, the starting point is, you know, when we um, when we uh, have drawn this member, uh, we uh, first start this and then go to this one. So, the first clicking point can be considered as the starting point of the member. And the second clicking point can be considered as the second or the ends of the member. So in this case, here, this member, this member here, zero, zero, in the sense is that this is the starting point of the member, and this one is the end point of the member. At the end point of the member, here, you know, the displacement is, it is around, you know, negative tony, I mean, it is, it is negative 15, just like that. So here, we can open a new window and can compare the result here. Result first. Now the displacement, you know, the deformation in Z direction. Apply. You know, just hook it. Here, this is it is 15.7, 30.7, 6.9 in negative Z direction. And then here, it is here you know this is 
it is around here it is 50.7 it is 50.7 is it is around here this point deflects down 50.7 okay and then in y direction also it this is a deflection along the y direction in y directions that means in this direction so here now let me also see the but in this case uh, all in z direction is displayed the deformation in z direction but in this case the uh, displacement in x direction in y and in z direction can be easily visualized this is the advantage of you know the uh, the standard box okay now you x you just like this okay this is good how this is how to just visualize the analysis results using the autodesk robots structural professionals okay and now you know, after uh, just analyzing uh, the structure and, uh, you know, uh, we'll uh, go to the design part. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so when uh, we design the members, all the members, uh, we have to, uh, uh, you know, group all the members uh, into uh, mm, uh, the... Uh, similar manner so we just uh, so go to you know uh, here in this menu and that here uh, so starts the you know steel design you collect this one steel or aluminum design so this is you know the design wing the design uh, uh, the design interface window so the first one is you know uh, First, we need to group all the members. So, so in order to group all the members, so first we need to select the uh, the corner column. Here, this one, and you know this one. You are uh, while you are uh, you are selected the member. You have to you know use control control the this one this this one and this one okay now copy this one so here you know new uh so when you you, you know the number is one uh, and then the member list and so click the member list here the name of the member is it is corner column and here still section uh, you know the classes of the section is it is we need to use uh, you know it is around uh, 355 you know this one okay uh, so here uh, just we need to use also uh, uh, the uh, for uh, the okay now here you know the section we c we have to select the uh, you know the size of the section that how to describe what the structural analysis will uh, you know optimize uh, during the design process so here now uh, you know collect the euro code here and now uh, just where is here section yeah here section and now here uh, we can select you know starting from 218 uh, to 1 meter okay good now save okay the second one is And you know the second one is the end column. So I like this column, this column, this column, this column, this column, and this column, and then 
the other side don't forget just pressing the control button while selecting many member good this one so here copy then paste here so you know this is in internal code so now select now we can use this one as it is okay good so necessary okay 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 the main column here sorry 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 this one is you know the main column the main column So delete this one. The main column is it is it is here section starting from it is uh, you know it is uh, around uh, you know starting from the section okay. Okay, sorry, not little. Just go to the here section. You know, just four hundred. Okay. You know, same. Okay. Okay. Sorry, that's third part. Okay, now the the indie part. Now selecting the indie column here, just like this. So copy this one. And then pasting here, and this is in the code, the in internal code. We can now select the section type here. We hit the here section. Here, okay. Sorry, this one is deleted. Okay, sorry, sorry, here, select the here section here, now starting from, you know, say, just to edit, just like this, okay, now click save, and then, you know, the fourth one is, you know, the, Okay, the edge router. And copy this one, and then pasting here, and then edge router. Okay, edge router. Now select the section for optimization. We already have. We can use a help section. Okay, sorry. We first we have to delete this one. Help section. And then it is found, you know, sorry, to edit out this one. Okay. Now save. Okay, new one. The edge raft.
the internal main route. Cool section, I'll copy. This one I'll paste in here. And then this is the main router. The main router now selecting here. Okay, first I need to delete this one. Have here the okay here they have section here. It is around you know starting from starting from it is 360 or just it is starting from you know just 360 okay okay and the other is you know the parallel the row parallel here No section here? No, no. Sorry. So select all the Rupalin, then copy, and then paste in here. Now Rupalin. Oh, pardon. Okay, here, probably. Now select the section here. And Z, Z cross section is not available in your code, so I you can use the Australian code. Z section. You know, at last, this one. Okay, first I have to delete this one and delete one. And then I need to go to the Australian code this section okay now let me use for a row for that is uh, you know 200 you know starting from 15 just like this okay now save and then new and then roof i mean wall section i mean wall problems then copy and here, just paste here, paste here, and then select, you know, similar category. Okay, now, uh, the Australian cross section, but here I have to delete this one. Oh, no, no, it is too much because you know, robot structure and unless it will take more time while I'm selecting more section. So, <coughs> sorry, so. is 200 in a little set oh no 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 this is more value safe now the last one is it is a you know bracing not the last I got here and here round section. Well, first, I have to delete this one. Okay, and that's round section here. Okay, now here the go down, okay, round section here. Around the section. 
starting from journey just like it is enough okay this is the brace like a cell seven one sorry sorry six brace five row party four is body four body here's a six brace seven okay one party is missing Here, one part is missing. Paste. Or probably. Okay, let's so delete this one. We use Australian code. This one. Okay. Okay, no matter. So, new, right. Okay, here the tabby. I copy here. Paste. Tabby. Well, okay. I'll say like the cross section here the euro code you know the rectangular cross section and go down go down and go down and go down and you know rectangular cross section here okay the rectangular and so you know what is 150 140 okay starting from here Okay, not safe. Okay, here I have already defined eight different members into groups. So, after that, now let me go to the design part here, one by one. Uh, so, first the uh, the member, you know, the code group, you know, code group verification. So, here the defined members are coming here. Just select, close, calculation. Now, robust st structural analysis professional is now designing the all the members according to the provided the cross section list of cross sections. Now, here the optimization process can be carried out by the robust structural professional analysis. Here. As you see, uh, you know, this is the verification, the code group verification parts based on the ultimate limit state. And here, uh, you know, the load combination can be selected here from 8 to 63. 8 to 63, where 63? 63. 8 to 63. 8 to you know, 63. It's like this. Okay, now let me calculate again. <coughs> Get this is optimization. Okay, here there is you know members uh, uh, here thin world section. Okay, now here first of all, I have to define the member. That 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 that's why this message is coming. Okay, good. But if you see you know all the sections, you know most of the section passed the design. Okay, here now let me uh, go to the. 
you know, here the definition of the member. Here first, now let me define the the main column here. Just to define the member of the main column, I need to use this col copy of this column. Click double click this one. Okay, this is the main column. The main column definition. Here, uh, this one. Uh, so now click this one because you know the buckling language coefficient z can be calculated by the software. So select this one because there are pressing on the upper flange. So here, first now let me uh, first here. This is 67. Remember 67. So member 67, you know, here, this is the, the, the member 67, point is where member 67. So here's, uh, you know, in a real case. So here, define the member here, define manually coordinates of the existing bracing. So yeah, 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 you, you know, the real case, well, just bringing this one to this one here this is you know the location of the the brace the location of the pair one two three four five one two three four five you know five bracing so in z direction because you know we need to apply the bracing on z direction not in the y direction so because in y, y direction is it is a work axis and so now just copy this one also and then you know the lateral buckling on the upper flange here this is the upper flange and this is the lower flange so the lateral buckling of the upper flange can be protected by the brace so we need to apply here and this one and then the lateral buckling for the lower flange you know you know the lower flange the lateral buckling of the lower flange can be reduced by using you know a longer or you know c sections but it is not uh, uh, recommended to use at every parallel so we need to use at some distance just like this you know we can delete this one you know we can delete this one and we can delete this one so good this one you know we can Sorry, this one, this one. Oh, no, 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 you know, we can copy this one. No, we can copy this one. Yeah, that point where there's a flange here, also here. Like this one, the at point where there is a bracing. Like okay. so, we need to delete this one, and we need to delete this one. Okay, good. In the real case here, there is an abrasion one, two. Okay, sorry, I got for lunch here. The lower flange, upper flange, and the lateral upper green here. One, two, three. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, uh, we should not click at a point where adjoining element is located because if we click this one, you know, the software uh, will consider the uh, lower the uh, lateral uh, buckling at the lower flange uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as if you know bracing is uh, applied at every adjoining element so you should not collect this one okay here you know completed okay you know the main column is uh, you know applied here and save here and you know that the, the, the main column is coming here. Now select here all the 
you know the the main colon here and I'll copy here and then oh sorry sorry and then apply okay perfect so now we can design the main colon here just came to here the group verification here you know the main colon is coming here or the main colon here main colon okay close this one and run the calculation now robot structural analysis is designing the main colon okay now it's a code group verification and now the process it is a verification not a design So the next part will be, uh, you know, the corner call. So click this one. And so like this one. But before that, we need to. Before that, we need to. T sixty four. T sixty four. So here, not upon joining to 64. So here, oh sorry, and upon here, in the red case. Uh, so they, you know, are similar. No one here, the same orientation here, no problem. Which is the same. No need of you know in way direction here. Then there is also in this direction. And we, you know here orientation just like this in Z. And also here. It's okay. 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 Good. Okay. Safe. So, So here, yeah, you know, here auto board, auto, auto desk robot structural analysis verifies the, the uh, you know, the the main column section. You know, the main column uh, having uh, this uh, cross section satisfies the the group code verification for all the rest of the main column. Very good. You know, the ratio is zero point six eight. So now. Somewhat, it is a little bit is not economical, but you can increase the number of iteration. Okay, good. Here, uh, you know, select also here. Sorry, no. You know, select here also. Groups here. And now apply the, the member definition to the corner column. Okay. Here now. Let me group call, group call. verification now. She just came to the calling call. For the calling call here, let's now run the calculation. What's wrong here? Definition of member to main caller. G has been changed. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, sorry. Main call and oh. oh, oh. So, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no. It is selected by cross section. Okay, main column. Apply. So, select the corner column. And then here, copy. And then here, the corner column. Apply. And then here. Just go to the list, the quote unquote. Go to here, then run the calculation. Definition of member two, quote unquote, has been changed. Yes. Okay. Now the next one is, you know, the rafter. So in order to define the rafter, we need to use we need to co use a copy of beam because rafters are beams. So here, 
the, the same procedure can be used. First, now the internal rot. Remember it. Okay, here now the the domain colon. Sorry, here. It is down here. One in the domain code here. Okay, calculate. Okay, the definition of the member for the B. Okay, now let me the internal member. Now let me define the internal member here. It is member eight. So the point where member eight. And then you define the read case and copy this one. Okay, here, you know, if you count the number of volume, you know, applied to the upper flange of the internal main rafter, it is around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It is around 10 or 10 per day. Okay. Here now, copy this one. Just Go to this also, and then the latter backlink also here. Uh, or in case, paste. Okay. So here we need to reduce the number of uh, the number of load flange bracing. Okay, perfect. Okay, save. Okay. So, rafter, main rafter, main rafter B. So, save it. Yes. Here. Okay, now. The main column, okay, main column here. Very good, but there is some error because it is not main column, you know, the corner column. But while uh, I have defining the groups, I made, I, I made a mistake. The column, the three in the column, four a drafter, two main column. Sorry, in the internal column. Okay, in the internal column. Here one, the corner column. Okay, now select one. Yeah, yeah. This one. So let's do it each. Yeah, put in call. Okay, good. And then the second one is the main call. Just by set to self. Now copy, paste, save, okay, and then I'll verify the code non code. Calculation, you know. D 
this the corner column the name of the colon must be a corner column not the, the the main column this is the mistake that has been done okay uh, so oh the error is you know the main column D uh, okay here this is the main column so let me check it once okay now there is the while I'm defining this one so the main code apply so the corner code cross section corner code and apply okay now here this is you know the corner and the corner the corner corner the name must be the corner corner you will be panning okay you have to be take your file grouping and defining the member okay the corner colon here the corner columns is coming very good and also the member definition is you know main column oh okay main column this is the corner column okay uh, so the definition of uh, here the member is uh, somehow uh, the the corner column is not the main column here yeah. So two on the main column, uh, you know. Um, so there is some. Um, cross section here. Copy. This is one. Let's paste. So the corner corner. Okay now here. Oh uh, okay. Delete all here. So here. Oh, not this one. Okay. Not there. So run the calculation. Okay, now the go to the definition of the name. the calculation again Okay, here uh, now uh, let me run the group, the code group verification for you know the corner column. Now run the calculation. Now robot structure and analysis is checking the code group members. So the just are the corner columns. Uh, so the corner column must have the same defined. Uh, name 
if they have different defined names so we need to correct them okay here the main column six d you know this name must be the the corner uh, you know this one this name must come no corner colon d must come because this uh, uh, you know section definition uh, is assigned to all the corner column but unfortunately the name comes the main colon d so we need to uh, check the uh, we need to check that is number two you know the 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 the, the critical member is it is number two where is number two this is 64 and this is number two okay very good now when if you click okay no uh, we can now right click this member objective property here it is the name it is main colon d2 is coming so that is why uh, you know we need to copy this okay first we have to visualize the orientation okay this one is in this direction and this one is in this direction good okay also this one is in this direction perfect okay now observe the object property here corner and colon d2 so we need to copy the properties of this member to this member why because you know the focal axis z positive uh, is drawn from uh, you know or the shirt to outside of the shirt if we copy this one to this one the orientation of the local axis is not similar so we need it needs some adjustment if we copy this member to this one but if we copy this to this one uh, no need of additional adjustment is required here right click you know copy property then apply you know the property here okay yes so observe the local axis very good outside observe the local axis here outside but in this case it is a you know the local axis is you know it is away from the structure if you copy this to this the local axis z positive will be shown to this direction so it needs some adjustment okay in this case it is okay so uh, here it needs you know the the structure needs uh, the reanalysis because you know I have already modified the orientation of this column so we need to run the analysis okay here now the analysis is completed like you now of the local axis and the mag and of also the shapes of the structure okay here the analysis is completed now I can run the calculation also so just designing the corner corner now this one becomes you know its name will be corrected that means the define the definition of the member is Okay, now let me design the okay, code group for verification. Oh, now we just go to the list. You know, the uh, again the corner colon here, and then uh, so make the uh, the optimization option by weight. Then, okay, the and then the logic combination here uh, so I can use the ultimate limit state is up to 63 it is up to 63 okay now 
Okay. So now let me check the verification, the group code verification of the uh, corner colon. Now calculate. Okay. Here. Uh, now the corner colon verification uh, is uh, okay. It is around 0.12%, uh, so somewhat it is not economical, uh, but we can make it economical by just uh, running the optimization. And later we'll see the code group design, either the code group design and the code group verification should uh, be consistent to each other. So uh, in most of the time, the code group verification is the governing one. Okay, so. Uh, the colon colon is uh, becoming okay, and now just uh, go to uh, sorry, just to go to all the rest. Now let me select all the groups. Okay. I'll run the calculation. It is taking some time. Because in order to save the time, you know the some of the members are not assigned to the member definition. Okay, here as you see here the okay okay this uh, the, uh, this message is due to the member definition and uh, we can solve it later. Okay, the corner colon is it is okay, uh, and the interrupter it is becoming okay. It is zero point four six, and the main colon is okay. It is zero point seven three, uh, and the main colon and the interrupter okay. So the main purpose is is just to check the 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 code group verification of all the colon. Now let me see the uh you know the the main colon is okay the corner colon is okay uh, so the corner the main router i okay, can let me maximize it the corner is okay the end colon the end internal colon is okay 0 0.46 uh, okay oh uh, so all the colon uh, passed nice so now let me go to the uh, member definition of the router I guess the, uh, okay now let's go to the beam okay this is the age router definition so when we define the age router definition we have to take care of the okay first I cannot select the edge router here to the member. The number of the member is 254. Okay, 254. So, here now the it is 254. So now select the real one. Okay. Ah, and copy this into this one. So the number of uh, you know, purlins uh, on the rafters are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 purlins are located on the edge rafters. So, uh, we can copy this into the lateral buckling upper flange. Okay, and then the lateral buckling. Uh, the lower flange, but in the lower flange, uh, we need we need not uh, we must not uh, use uh, the bracing at every purlin. So we need to uh, delete. We, we we need to put the bracing at by jumping to purlin. Cannot delete it. Okay. 
Okay. So this one. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. There is some error here. There is some error now. Let me copy this one. Okay. Okay. So the first one is uh, one 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 Okay, it's okay. And now, when we come to also the backlink in y direction, if there are a colon at the a drafter, so we need to uh, just uh, define at a point where they are doing element in the backlink plant here. Just when we click here, there is a colon 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 here, uh, as you see here. No four columns. Okay. So uh, click OK. That is same. Okay. So here can make it so the main route. The main route of definition. Like okay. okay. this one. That's the fun, which is in similar manner, except uh, in this case, there is no all the rest are similar, except the colon at the edge router. Okay, I click OK. Let's say, so let me check the verification, you know, the Docker group verification here. You know the domain router and just uh, the edge route. Now run the calculation. Okay, here the edge router means it is zero point one six six past section. And then uh, you know the uh, the main raptor is not passing. Here there is some error, some stability, the instability error here. And you go down that, that this is the instability because you know the efficiency ratio is it is zero point nine so because some uh, it is a little bit close to one. So that is better if we increase the section because it is at risk so uh, okay you know the rafter and the, the columns are satisfying the requirements of the group, group, group code verification except uh, 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 the instability of the internal draft uh okay now here uh, now let me define also the the pallet because pallets are pins yeah you, you know those pallets are you know here we can make it it is a fixer fixer support, but uh, we can make us fixer fixer. Or, but in the case of if we make uh, a release at index of the Perlin, then then we can select the uh, this option, which is the backlink language coefficient is one. But in the case of if it is, uh, you know, uh, fix it at the base and pin. At the top, 
then you can select t0.5 and if it is uh, so select uh, you know the, the first one if was in this uh, released uh, just to avoid an excessive moment and in order to make pass the oropolis so But here, when we come to here, we have to take uh, a care here because you know, we have to click the T node the section because uh, you know the Z plane and the RHS are a T node the section, so we need to click this one. And um, so save it. But this one is a T zero plane. So click this one. Click this one. This is well probably. Mm, okay. So so some like this. Uh, Which is a fixed fixer support that is 0 0.5. This one selected this one. Mm. Okay, not in all this section. Save it. Okay. And then also select the brace. Braces can be uh, taken as a beam, as an inclined beam. Brace, brace beam. This can be also just fix it. Okay, tin tin what? Save. Okay, now type it. It is also just fix it. Okay, tin what? Just say, okay. So here, uh, now select all the pens on this one. Okay, uh, select. All the embrace where is the brace? Okay, brace beam here. So apply and select all the rope the well poly then copy the wall poly. Here, okay, to work for in here. So, apply and then select the root poly. Copy row poly. poly, apply and select also the tabbing. And then copy and the tab in this one apply so the definition of all the se the sections uh, is completed okay. so now let me go to the group Group design. So the robot structure run analysis run the calculation by optimizing the sections.
Okay. Robot structural analysis is designing all the sections. If there is some problem on the main rafter, and we will check it. What was the problem? Because uh, this may be the definition. So when we define the member, we need to be be take care. Here, previously we have seen some error, but now there is no error. Let me collect this one. So here, the problem is. This is the instability problem, and I'll have to the, the problem here. Here, now the, the, you know, the problem of the instability of the internal rafter is due to the, the member definition. So now let me uh, redefine it again. Okay, here, just it is 180, collect this one, put the bracing, now it is 180, so here delete all the previously, put a value, and this is, you know, the uh, the location of the purling and then we need to copy this into the uh, perf flange then to the lower flange but we need to reduce the number of I think because it is too much Okay, perfect. So click save. Okay. So now select all the internal raft. So copy. No, no need of copy actually. When you select this one, automatically it will be pasted here. So. Apply. So you know the main rafter, the modified main rafter definition will be applied to the internal rafter. Okay, like so. Let me run the the calculation. So the auto describable structure is running the calculation and taking whether all the members pass the design capacity or not. Here now the uh, the design is optimizing the section using the the provided section. Now in this case, for example, if the colon and colon uh, is uh, you know if we use 280 here 280, then the optimization ratio will be 0 0.15, and if we use here 300, we can uh, we'll have a utilization ratio of 0. Point want to uh, somehow it is not economical okay perfect you know the main rafter uh, is passing you know the design so here the hip 360 is not passing the uh, the, uh, the 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 design so this optimization ratio is 1.03 so that is why it shows a red color 
so uh, and uh, the uh, auto desk robot structural and analysis uh, selected the second section that is have 400 with a utilization ratio of 0 0.85 and then if we use also have 450 the utilization ratio will be 0 0.61 so to be economical we can use this uh, this section you know for the main rafter okay no error perfect uh, so uh, you know we can use the this uh, here 400 for uh, you know the main rafter so change it is okay and the edge rafter it is the help uh, 300 uh, so for a simplicity of workmanship we can use help 300 because you know the indie colon uh, size is it is here 300 so uh, in order to fit or in order to match uh, the uh, the uh, offset uh, facade of the section so we need to use this one because you now let me um, so prove you uh, for example if this is uh, if this is you know if this is okay sorry sorry you know this is the color in the color that is the in the color in the color and now the rafter here we love it after here the edge rafter so this uh, you know this size from here up to here it is you know 300 and similarly uh, from here up to here also it is 300 for the edge router it is 300 so the edge router will be laid over the the whole width is of uh, the indie column that is why we prefer this size if you see in this direction aesthetically it will have uh, an, an attractive view because you know this edge and this edge are at the same lateral level okay so uh, we can uh, use uh, the as a main rafter we can use this section change and uh, for the in the internal colon we can use this section change and for the corner colon we can use this section change and the main rafter the roof uh, pauline the roof pauline is uh, you now it is a little bit uh, much higher cross section so we need to reduce uh, this value just by releasing the uh, in the pointers of uh, the Ropaldin so that we'll have uh, uh, almost negligible movement and in the case of Ropaldin uh, it is okay so that this section can be used to 200 by 90 so but this is a little bit higher so uh, we need to release the cross section okay so so here so here we need to select all the cross section of the pallion so go to the geometry and apply release so we need to release the end of the member 
so that the movement will be avoided. Our blood. Your release our blood. So now we will reanalyze the structure. The, the, the robot structural analysis is analyzing the structure based on the changed cross sections and the, prof the provided uh, in release of the Ropali. So now, now, let me run the calculation again. So previously I have, you know, changed some cross section here. Uh, you know, uh, this Berlin is Z215. We have provided before Z215, uh, while uh, uh, I have been uh, modeling the uh, the Berlin. But as you see here, as you see here, that is Z200 by 50 word Berlin. is have 400 we can now let me check one by one all the members corner and column here 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 you, you, you can see here the section here 300 he has 300 with utilization ratio of 0 0.11 okay this is good the int internal column here 300, 300 with utilization ratio 0 0.4. Okay, it's perfect. Now the main column. Here 450. Here, this one is, you know, here 450. But here, the main column is, uh, you know, we can use here 400 with utilization ratio of 0 0.9 but the code group verification will not or may not uh, be passing with this uh, cross section so I mean with uh, this cross section so we need to check once again the group verification code The main router, I mean the main caller. If 400 is passing, yeah, it's, it is here 450. It is 450, so which is around 0 0.72. Okay, just come to here. The main caller. Run the calculation. Zero point seventy two. So now let me change this one. You know the here is this cross section change. Yes. Okay. So here, the main column cross section is changed. It's here 400. So we need to re recalculate. So 
So run the calculation again. The good the main column is it is here four hundred. It is zero point seven seven. Mm -hmm. Utilization ratio is good. So let me check the group verification code. The main column. Run the calculation. Okay, perfect. Zero point eight seven. So here the internal rafter in the main column have the same uh, still closed section. So you know for simplicity of the workmanship, it is better to use the same cross section of rafter in the column. Nice. Okay. So now, now let me design all the member once. This is you know, the last checkup of the design of the steel members. Now it is taking more time because you know it is designing all the members. Here, if you see the ropal in now, So the world pollen it is two hundred by ninety, which is having a cross section of you know the height is twenty point three centimeter, the width is it is fifty point one, the thickness of large is it is zero point two centimeter or two millimeter, the thickness of the web is it is two millimeter. So you can use this section as a wall pollen. And for in the case of uh, the case of uh, Rupalin and so here the height is it is 30 centimeter the width is it is 90.1 the thickness of flange is 2 millimeters the thickness of the web is it is 2 millimeter okay so here this is uh, Perlin, so uh, it is 200 by 90 size, so it is not changed, so we need to change this one.
Okay, now it is changed. Good. Okay, now let me run the analysis. Okay, now let me desire one so the poly the whole section. So here in the case of, uh, you know, the after now, let me, uh, in the case of uh, the Rupalin, so we need, I need to check once again, Rupalin, so run the calculation. Okay, here uh, it is uh, 300 by uh, 24 uh, cross section of uh, Z polyline is uh, uh, somehow adequate because you know it is 1.04. Mm, it is no problem if we use this one because it is roughly approximately it is the utilization factor is it is one percent so if we click this section the detail results are listed here you know the height is it is 30 centimeters the width is, is uh, uh, 19 centimeters the thickness of flange is two millimeters the thickness of wave is it is two millimeter okay now so uh, this is all about the design the uh, design parts of the steel structures next time i will uh, be presenting you the uh, connection design and the footing design parts of uh, this warehouse uh, for the time being this is uh, all about the uh, part two tutorial thank you very much